Hydroxyl is a poor living group. The heterolytic cleavage of this bond will generate the hydroxide. The hydroxide is a strong base. However, protonation of this group will convert it to this species, which is readily susceptible to a nucleophilic substitution and give water as the living group. Water is a weak base, hence a good living group. By this mechanism, alcohols react to hydrogen halide to form alkyl halides. For example, HBr can readily protonate this 2-butanol to give water as a living group and with bromine as the nucleophile, 2-bromobutane will be generated. This reaction takes place only in strongly acidic solutions. For the hydrogen halides, the most reactive is hydrogen iodide and hydrogen fluoride is the least reactive. Halide is a weak nucleophile and it favors the SN1 process in tertiary, secondary, allylic, and benzylic alcohols. Take note that since a carbocation is generated in the process, rearrangement occurs whenever possible. The SN1 process does not occur in primary and methyl alcohols. Instead, they require the strongest of conditions and undergo SN2 reaction with hydrogen iodide and hydrogen bromide. If primary and secondary chlorides are desired from alcohols, they require the assistance of a Lewis acid such as zinc chloride. Given that the reactivity of alcohols increase from primary, secondary to tertiary alcohols, this has become the basis of Lucas test. Lucas test is the reaction of zinc chloride in concentrated hydrochloric acid. As you know, alcohols are soluble in water, but alkyl halides are not. Hence, when alkyl halides are generated, the solution becomes turbid. In Lucas test, there is a fast formation of turbidity in tertiary alcohols. This is evident for tertiary butyl alcohol in this example. Turbidity is low for secondary alcohols and no visible reaction occurs for primary alcohols at room temperature. Acid-catalyzed dehydration of alcohols are also possible. Typical acids used are sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid, and the temperatures are typically high. The product of dehydration of alcohols are alkenes. Primary alcohols are hard to dehydrate and will require higher temperature. Tertiary, benzylic, and allylic alcohols are the easiest by unimolecular elimination. For example, this compound here. In sulfuric acid and heating, protonation of this alcohol will occur and a carbocation will be generated. Here, this carbocation is secondary. And in this case, a rearrangement is possible for this carbocation to be transformed to a tertiary carbocation. Under this condition, and with the help of a base, a proton may be taken here to form this double bond, which conforms to Seitzup rule. As shown in that example, rearrangement takes place whenever possible and Seitzup rule is followed.
the dehydration of primary alcohols work via E2 mechanism. But further protonation occurs leading to an internal alkene. An example is the dehydration of 1-butanol. In the presence of phosphoric acid, 1-butene may form. However, because of the acidic condition, protonation of this alkene would occur to form a secondary carbocation. The prevailing condition will enable the deprotonation of this species to form the internal alkene. Thus, the mechanism for the acid-catalyzed dehydration of primary alcohols are far more complicated.